Nigerian senators on Wednesday unanimously kicked against plans to increase electricity tariff, describing the move as retrogressive and ill-timed. The upper chamber also mandated its committee on par to investigate the over two trillion subsidy requirement as alleged by the Minister of Power Adebayo Adelabu. After a robust debate on a motion by Senator representing Adamawa Central, Iya Abbas, at Wednesday's plenary, the lawmakers urged the federal government to immediately stand down the idea of an increase in electricity tariff in the country. In his lead debate, Senator Abbas explained that the indebtedness of the country's power sector to electricity generating companies and gas companies had risen to over 3 trillion naira. Our Senate should not, with the greatest dismay, the plan, increase, the plan to increase electricity tariff by the relevant statutory authority in gross disregard of increased economic challenges with attendant widespread poverty and high cost of living. The Senate might note that the Honorable Minister of Power was reported trillion needed for subsidy only. Uh, 415 uh, billion was budgeted for the 2024. Uh, the Senate might further note that the same electricity businesses are collecting money from customers for services not rendered. When they have not added anything to the equipment they inherited from PHCN, uh, communities buy transformers to replace damaged ones, in addition to overburden bills and arbitrary estimates. Contributing to the motion, Senator Abba Moro, representing Benue South, said Nigeria must first be sufficient in generation and distribution of power before considering an increase in tariff. I think our concern for this moment should be how to generate electricity and effectively, adequately distribute electricity. Most of the problems that we are having today, especially in the manufacturing section, sector of the uh, economy, is as a result of low uh, power. And many organizations and companies are relocating from Nigeria simply because they don't have energy to drive their organizations. And so, Mr. President, I support this motion, and I want to say that this Senate should resolve again, like uh, the Senate did in uh, the Ninth Senate, that the desire to raise electricity should be put on hold until the distribution of electricity is adequate and proper. Mr. President, let me also say that this issue of subsidy remover has become a very serious matter and we must be very careful how we handle it. In view on it? of the prevailing situation in our dear country, we all do not need anybody to tell us what the situation in the country is all about. The populace are facing untold hardships, and the situation in the country is anything but normal. And removal of any subsidy, not to talk of electricity subsidy, will be more than adding petrol to fire. The situation in the country do not allow for even a contemplation of that. I most importantly thank uh, our distinguished colleagues for their contributions and uh, opposition to the idea of increasing electricity tariff at this time uh, due to the current uh, uh, cause of things across the country and the, and the sufferings of people. And Nigerians are very worried about the uh, following increases in, uh, in uh, products across the country and um, urge the Committee on Power to work closely with the Minister of Power to ensure that the resolutions of the Senate are respected in order to ameliorate and reduce any contemplated suffering on consumers of electricity in the country.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.